Hello there and welcome to today's class. For today, we will be considering um, a problem under link mechanism. As you can see the figure at the right hand side of the screen and also as you can see the question that produces a um, detail about that um, diagram. The question says the rod OA rotate anti-clockwise at constant speed about O through 180 degree. During the movement, the point P moves from P to P1 and back to P at constant speed. Draw the locus of P during the complete movement of OA. So what my first ask here, first is first, um, for every problem under link mechanism, our first task is to draw out the figure given in the link mechanism. Of course, obviously, for my figure here, my first task is to draw um, a, faint, um, a line this way. Let's come here. Draw a line this way. Right? Draw a line this way. Right? Obviously, from here, my next task here is to pick a point. Let me pick this point for instance. I'll call that point my point O, right? As you can see from the diagram here, I'm giving O to P to be 20, O to P1 to be what there is 76. If I combine 20 and 76, I'll have 96. It means that 96 from here, this is 96 to here is P1. So here is simply P1. P1. So P1 is simply uh, 96. My P is somewhere here and it's 20. So measure out 20 for point P, right? Similarly, my tax here now is to take in um, O to P in this sense. So I'll take in O to P this way, right? As you can see, I'll call somewhere here, call it A. As you can see, it's shown in the diagram um, below. So obviously, yeah, my next tax here is to next tax here is to um, observe something, please. Observe that we are told that the um, crank here is moving what the anti-clockwise sense, right? So I'm moving in an anti-clockwise manner, right? So my next task, obviously from here, is to um, draw um, the degree given. The degree given in the question is what? 180 degree. And we know that angle straight line is what the 180 degree. Which I will draw now using my compass and my pencil, right? All right. Of course, from here, from P, perhaps from O, I will draw. Um, I will extend my compass to P one and draw a faint um, stuff this way, right? Such that this line, do initially, we pass it through it this way. So it means that my locus will not pass beyond um, this um, 180 same circle I've drawn here. So my next task is to divide P and P1 into 8 equal parts and also divide the circle into 8 equal parts. First is first, let me divide the circle into 8 using my 45 degree set square. I'll place this guy at point 0. This is 1. This is what there to finally I have this man here, right? So this is one, two, three, four, right? So divide the same circle into what there four equal parts and divide point P one and P and P into eight equal parts. So my tax now is that I want to divide P one and P into eight equal parts using the concept of line division method which I will drop the link 
in the description of this video. So now to divide this one using my line different division concept, I will draw an inclined line this way, such that I will take my compass and draw, measure out um, eight. So let's take this is one. This should be two, three, four, five, six, seven, and finally eight. So I'll use my set square or perhaps my instrument to connect points so i can just start with um connecting this one this last point with p this way and uh, place my set square this one at the bottom here right then take this to the next step draw this way next one draw this this way next tax this this way so take it upward to have a parallel line that's my hair this one two this one two finally i have this one here so i have firstly divided p to p1 into um eight equal parts of course here yeah, what's my next tax obviously from here my next tax now is to label this as my one two three four five six seven finally eight this is one this is two this is three and this is my four first is first first tax is to take my compass at point o to point p i've gotten p to point one perhaps o to point one and taking one this way this is as this is my p1 o to point two to mark two this is my P2. Next up, O to point 3 to mark 3. This is my P3. Next up, O to point 4. At this point here is my P4. This man here is my P4. Next up, for my P5, observe that I'm not going beyond 180. So I'm going back. If it's four year, five will come back here, six years, seven years, and finally eight. So come here, I'm moving to five. Five will be somewhere here. It's my P5. P5. Right? Next up, get P6. From here to somewhere here is P6. At my P6, mark it here, there. I have P6 here. Finally, P7. P7 is obviously somewhere here. This is my P, this point here is my P7. So this point here is my P1. This point here P2. Point here P3. P4. P5. P6. P7. Finally, I have my P8. With the help of my French curve, I will join points together to have my final destination. So obviously, from here, if I join points together, I'll have something of this nature, right? If I join points together, so starting from this, I'll join these two points here, point P and P1 together first. I'll have this, right? Next task, next task, join this together. Right, so I have this next tax. I will join this one here to this. Similarly, P4 to P5, next tax, P5 to P6. As you can see, um, from P6 to P7, right, P6 to P7. Um, finally, P7 to P8. Alright, finally, I will join this P7 and P1 together, or perhaps P8, as in this case. So this is what will be produced. Um, if um, point P rotates at a clockwise, as you can see, if you found this class helpful, do not forget to click on the subscription button and like. Thank you and welcome to WiseLink Academy.